Tonight, we're tracking how your tax dollars are really being spent in a Waste Watch special report. I think this is true. Few would argue that effective teachers are crucial to student success. But teachers do have to be in the classroom to be effective. And in Metro, that is not always a given. A study by the National Council of Teacher Quality finds Metro has the third highest rate of absences among 40 school districts across the nation. As Fox 17's Bob Sellers shows us that hurts students as well as taxpayers. The study found a high number of absences within the Metro School District. Metro teachers missed an average of 14.2 days in the school year 2012 to 13, compared with an average of 11 days missed in 39 other metropolitan school districts. That's 27% higher than the average. Translated into additional costs for substitutes, Metro is spending roughly $1.3 million more than they would if they simply mirrored the national average. That includes 3.2 days times a minimum of 1046 per hour for eight hours a day for each sub times 4,940 teachers to total $1,322,813. That's the monetary impact, but the study underscores the importance of having regular teachers in the classroom. Ultimately, um, uh, what we would say is we want to think about how do we provide uh, the most students access to effective teachers um, as often as possible. Metro, though, says that's not right. They ran their own numbers and found only 5% of the 4,900 teachers chronically absent. They believe the study is wrong. What may be more disturbing is that the study found 30% of Metro teachers are chronically absent, missing at least 18 days a year. Metro, though, says that's not right. They ran their own numbers and found only 5% of 5,800 teachers chronically absent. They believe the study is wrong. The way that we count it is different. And, um, and Do you know we, how it's different? Well, for one thing, we, we don't count professional development or personal leave days um, because we don't count those as uh, teachers being absent. You know, they may not be in the classroom all those days, but uh, they're not absent. Um, and what we were mo mostly concerned with was sick days and injury on duty days. Metro will stress the importance of strong attendance to teachers as they head back to school, with many of the efforts focused on improving teacher health. Steady. Bob Sellers, Fox 17 News. Now, in Metro's own review, Metro teachers only missed an average of 12.7 days rather than 14.2 days. That would still cost taxpayers an extra $700,000 for the amount over the national average of days missed. You can find all of our Waste Watch reports at fox17.com. Click on the Waste Watch tab right there at the top.